Hello, I am Dr. Imran Khan and I will give you a lecture on introduction to the MOSFETs. Okay, so let's start our MOSFET. As you know that MOSFET is a building block of our integrated circuits and all the digital devices. MOSFETs are used extensively in lot of digital uh, devices like your microprocessors, RF circuits and lot of other uh, digital devices. MOSFETs are used extensively in digital devices because of uh, a lot of uh, uh, its characteristics like small size, high speed, low power and high gain. As we know that MOSFET is a three terminal device. MOSFET is having three terminals, gate, drain, and source. So in the figure one and figure two, you can see the variety of NMOS transistors and the PMOS transistors. In figure one, it is showing the N-channel transistor or NMOS transistor. When you apply uh, high gate signal, like this X is one, it means that if you are applying a uh, high gate signal, your MOSFET will turn on. And in the PMOS transistor, when you will apply low gate signal, means X is zero, your device will turn on. So this is uh, the mechanism of operation of your uh, N channel and the P channel. Uh, transistors or p-channel MOSFETs. Before going to the detailed lecture, we will discuss some important parameters like your drain current, velocity, gate source voltage and the drain source voltage. Okay, let's start with the drain current. As you know that drain current is proportional to inversion charge and the velocity that the charge travels from source to drain. Similarly, your velocity is proportional to the electric field from drain to source. And gate source voltage, VGS. So here you can see the VGS. So this is your gate terminal, this is uh, the source terminal, this is the drain terminal. And here you can see N-type diffusion at the drain and source ter uh, terminals because this is N channel transistor and it is having this P type body. Okay, so this gate source voltage VGS. This gate source voltage VGS controls amount of inversion charge that carries the current. And the VDS, so here is your VDS. It is between the drain terminal and the source terminal. Your VDS controls the electric field that drifts the inversion charge from source to drain. Simple MOS uh, transistor structure. So here in the figure you can see the simple uh, MOS transistor structure. So in the red you can see the gate terminal and here it's source and the drain. So when you apply the gate voltage and the drain voltage inversion layer will appear between the source and the drain. Okay, so in this figure you can see that you have basically uh, four terminals, gate terminal, source terminal, drain terminal and the body terminal. Usually we don't uh, uh, include body terminal in our uh, calculation uh, because of simpli uh, simplification of our cal calculation. Okay, so here your gate is uh, connected to this, uh, uh, basically uh, this channel via this insulator. This is called uh, field oxide or the silicon uh, oxide. So uh, your, uh, in case of MOSFET, always the uh, drain, uh, gate current is zero. So here uh, you can see the 3D uh, the structure of uh, NMOS transistor. So, okay, so here you can see in the red, it's basically polysilicon. So this is the gate 
and here you can see this uh, source and the drain terminals so when you apply this gate voltage and the drain voltage you can control the current flow between uh, the source to drain so this is uh, basically the mechanism of operation of uh, uh, your uh, MOS transistor so um, because this is your N MOS transistor so here you have this P type body okay and uh, suppose if you want uh, to make it a P MOS transistor then here uh, you have to uh, make this P type diffusion here at the source and the drain and your body will be N type so suppose if you want to convert it to it into P MOS transistor okay so our MOSFET has uh, two uh, basically types the N channel MOSFETs and the P channel MOSFETs okay so before uh, going to the detail uh, uh, we, we should discuss some um, background uh, some basically physical background so in this slide we will uh, discuss both uh, uh, the mechanism of channel formation and the mechanism of current flow between the source and the drain uh, in the figure you can see uh, a simple structure okay your vs is the source voltage vg is the gate voltage and vd is the drain voltage so what will happen when you start applying vg and vd so that's what we are going to discuss uh, here before going to uh, our uh, calculation for uh, different regions of operations okay so when you will start applying vg or the gate voltage voltage what will happen okay be before uh, the uh, discussing this I, I i should tell you that this vt vt is basically the threshold voltage okay a positive gate voltage will create a negatively charged region depleted of positively charged holes in semiconductor underneath the insulator so here uh, you can see the scenario when you start applying uh, your vg okay so what will happen when you increase this vg increasing the gate voltage will force the depletion layer, uh, layer to go deeper like uh, uh, this is uh, the scenario here where you are increasing this vg and um, this depletion layer is going deeper here you can see this scenario okay so increasing uh, the gate voltage beyond the threshold voltage vt will make the electron appear at the semiconductor surface like this one so here uh, uh, this is uh, the process of uh, formation of the channel that will conduct uh, your um, uh, current from source to the drain okay so more electrons will appear at silicon oxide interface as vgs is increased okay so here uh, you can see and a conductive n channel is created between the source to drain so here you can see your channel okay so this is uh, uh, the mechanism of formation of uh, the channel so now your channel is formed but current is still not flowing so what you have to do obviously you have to apply the positive drain voltage it means that your vds should be uh, greater than zero so when you will apply uh, the drain uh, voltage greater than zero lateral field move will move electrons from source to drain okay so this this was uh, uh, basically the process of uh, uh, the the formation of channel and the, um, basically uh, how the current flows between uh, the source and the drain now we will discuss the different regions of operation of the mosfet okay uh, let's start from the cutoff region so here uh, in the diagram uh, you can see here you have this drain terminal your gate terminal source terminal and here you can see because this is the n channel uh, n mos n mos transistor so here you can see uh, n type diffusion at the drain and the source terminal so here uh, also your gate is connected to this channel via this insulator this insulator is uh, basically silicon oxide okay so so your id will be zero when your vgs is zero and 
VGS is greater than lesser than VT. So it means that your device is in cutoff region. ID zero means that your device is off or device is in cutoff region. So okay. So let's discuss the operation of MOSFET in linear or triode region. So here you can see again you are applying the positive voltage VGS here at your gate terminal and you are applying some voltage at your drain terminal VDS. So here you can see this VDS. So now you are applying positive gate voltage and positive drain voltage. But these are the conditions you have to follow like your VDS should be lesser than VGS minus VT and VGS should be greater than VT. So these are the two conditions that are uh, responsible for keeping the device in linear or the triode region. So in the linear or triode region your uh, device will uh, behave like uh, the, the IV characteristics of a resistor like uh, here it will show the linear uh, relationship between I and VDS. So here you can see uh, the linear relationship. So uh, okay, so this is uh, basically uh, the simple uh, figure showing uh, the device in linear or triode region. So here you can see the channel is formed between the source and the drain. So here uh, the, the current can flow between source and drain. What you have to do, you have to apply this positive gate voltage and the positive drain voltage. So to keep the device in linear region, you have to uh, follow these conditions like your VGS should be greater than VT and VDS should be lesser than equal to VGS minus VT. What is this VGS minus VT? It is called the effective overdrive voltage. Okay, so your ID will be in case of linear region, your ID will be KN prime W by L VGS minus VT into VDS minus VDS square by 2. So this is uh, uh, the equation for ID in linear or triode region. So what is this KN prime? Your uh, KN prime is process transconductance parameter. It is equal to mu n C naught X. What is this mu n? Mu n is basically the, your electron mobility. And uh, C naught X, this is oxide capacitance. Your oxide capacitance is equal to E naught X by T naught X. E naught X means uh, EV is basically epsilon or the permitti permittivity. Okay, so E naught uh, X by T naught X. And what is this T naught X? T, T naught X is basically ox uh, your uh, uh, oxide thickness. Okay, so this was uh, the operation of MOSFET in uh, linear or triode region. Now we are going to discuss the operation of MOSFET in saturation region. Okay, so for the saturation region, uh, you uh, keep uh, applying the voltage, your uh, basically uh, drain voltage. So what will happen when your drain voltage will become greater than uh, drain source voltage or VDS will become greater than VGS minus VT, your device will go into saturation region. So here you will see uh, uh, this kind of scenario, the channel pinch off. Okay. So now a constant current is uh, flowing between uh, the source to the drain. So here you can see this uh, IV characteristic curves of your uh, 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 MOSFET in triode region and the saturation region. Okay. So for the triode region, you can see you see that VDS is lesser than equal to VGS minus VT. But for the saturation region, VDS is greater than equal to VGS minus VT. So these, these are the conditions. So here you can see that in the saturation region, the current is constant. Okay. And basically, uh, this figure shows uh, your device in saturation region. So here you can see this channel pin pinch off. Okay, so it means that you know a constant current is flowing between uh, the source to the drain. Okay, 
so these are uh, basically uh, the equations for your uh, basically the summary of the equations uh, for your transistor uh, like for uh, the linear region saturation region okay uh, for the cutoff region obviously id is equal to 0 and your uh, vgs should be lesser than vt okay but for the linear region vds should be lesser than equal to vgs minus vt okay so this is uh, the equation for the id we already discussed this equation so for the saturation region your vds should be greater than vgs minus vt okay and uh, this is the equation for the saturation region okay so here you can see this lambda this lambda is the channel length modulation so usually in our simple calculations we uh, choose lambda is equal to 0 basically uh, to simplify your calculations so if you choose uh, lambda is equal to 0 your uh, id equation will become even more simpler okay so mosfet iv characteristic curves okay so here you can see the iv characteristic curves of a mosfet so here you can see the relationship between uh, vds and id okay so here you can see your id is equal to 0 okay so on this line id is equal to 0 it means that device is in cutoff mode okay so here you can see your uh, vgs is lesser than uh, vtn okay so this vtn is basically threshold voltage for n channel transistor okay so for vgs is lesser than vtn id is equal to 0 okay so here you can see your id is equal to 0 it means that device is in cutoff region so here you can see a linear relationship between uh, uh, all the curves okay so uh, like this is the boundary between the linear region and the, the saturation region okay so here you can see the linear relationship so this region is called triode region or the linear region here your current becomes constant okay id becomes constant so this is called the saturation region or saturation mode of operation so we we discussed your mosfet in detail in this lecture so if you have any problem or any question you are welcome to write uh, your questions and i will reply to you as soon as possible okay thank you very much and see you next time